back to the Crochet Chronicles with my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today is the vent stitch. Now, the reason for the venting is that if you pull it apart, you can see that there's air holes that are coming through. And so it allows the person to breathe underneath this thing. So if you look at it from an angle, you can kind of see the air pockets that can go through. It is a double-sided pattern, as you can see, and it's a really easy pattern to be able to maintain. It's very similar to corner to corner, but it has this amazing texture that allows the air to go through. So this is the vent stitch. If you like to change the size of this um, for a blanket or anything, it's in multiples of five plus eight. Let's begin this process. So let's begin. We're going to go in multiples of five plus eight. So one, two, three, four, five and continue to do it. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. You can measure this up to anything that you wanna match a size to. When you're happy with the width, add another eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're going to begin and we're going to go all the way across. Row number one, I'd like to create a stabilizing row to be able to easier work with this. You're going to go second chain from the hook. I like getting the back hump of the chain and you're just going to single crochet across your chain all the way back to the other side. So please single in each chain to the other side. Once you get to the other side of your chain, turn your work and let's begin the next row and we're gonna set ourselves up for this stitch. So the starting of this particular row is a little weird but you have to trust the process. You're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet into the first one. The next one, you are going to double crochet into the next. And now here's the repeat to go across. I want you to chain one, skip one, and double crochet the next four in a row. So we have one, two, three, Once you have that four done, chain one, skip one, and double crochet the next four again. And I want you to continue this all the way down. And when I get closer to the other side, I'll see you there in just a moment. So put me on pause. When you get to the other side here, you're going to have five stitches left. I have not chained one yet. So chain one, skip one, and then do the last four stitches that are available. So you can see that the other side was started in differently than how this side finishes. And once you have that done, it will look like this. And then you're going to turn your work and now we're going to do the repeat pattern for the whole thing over and over and over. And then I will show you how to finish it off at the top. To begin, you're always going to chain three. So one, two, three. See the space between the two posts? You're gonna use that space and slam in a double crochet. Just go right into the space between them, not a stitch. Now do you see the double crochet before the chain one space? You were going to put in a single crochet there. So just go around the front post and put in a single crochet and that lifts it off to give it the texture and the venting is what you're looking for. You are now going to chain three. And do you see this chain one space right here? you were going to put in three double crochet there. So we have one, two, and three. So by positioning the single there, you've just created now an air vent. Now come into the next grouping of four and see the last one before the chain one. Just put in a single crochet around the front post, chain three, and you see that chain one right there, put in three, double crochet. That's all you need to do to go across on this thing. And what I'll do is I'll meet you at the end of the row in just a few seconds. So just look at the next group, look at the last one, single into the front post, chain three, and then three double crochet into the chain one. So just put me on pause. And for those that are ready to go to the end, I'll be continuing to go. As we get closer to the end, you're going to have this one right here. You put your single crochet in first. In that space, you're still gonna put your three double crochet in. And then you are only gonna apply a single crochet into the first single here. 
and that, that will finish that row and you can see how it's lifting which is what you're looking for so we're going to turn our work and begin the next row and as i mentioned all these rows are the same so let's begin this so let's begin and we're going to start you're going to chain three and see the space that is between the single and this double it's not a stitch it's just a space put in another double crochet there Now, do you see the three here, that here? You're going to single into the front post of the last one before you see the space happen. So front post. And now you're going to chain three. And if you peel it back, you can see the space that is in behind right here. And you're going to put in three double crochet in that space. So we have one, two, and three. Now, do you see? Here's the next three. You're going to single into the last one before you see the space. So you're going to single around the front post, chain three, and use that same space and put in three double crochet. So you see the next one leading, it's the third one, front post, single, chain three, and three, double crochet into that space. So that's all you got to do to go all the way across this thing. So do that, and for those that are ready to finish, I'll be showing that just in a few seconds. So I'm going to come into there, chain three. And so this will be the last space before the end. And then once you have that done, in the top of the first chain three, just put in a single crochet. And that's what that would look like. And you can see the venting holes, if you look at it from an angle, are happening. So we, if we turn our work again, we can start fresh all over. And you're going to chain three and we look for the space between the single and the double. So it's not a stitch, it's just a space and throw in a double crochet there. We look for the third one up, like we did before, front post single, chain three, come into the space and put three double crochet there. So it's exactly what I just showed you. So look for the next grouping of three, single, crochet in the front post, chain three, and come into the space. So do this all the way across. I'll see you at the end of the row in just a moment, and then I'll show you how to finish this off. So I'm just finishing the row, coming into the space, put my three double crochet there, and then I just put in a single at the top of the first chain three. There. Okay, so say you're happy with it and you want to finish it off the one side is flat this side is not that might not be a problem for you but i'll show you how to flatten it off if you recall there was five stitches so there's four double crochet and a chain one space which gives you the number five but what we have to do is we have to compensate for the dipping to make sure that the stitches match so to start i'm going to start you out this way you're going to chain three that's your first double crochet and I want you to double crochet, sorry, half double crochet into the next two stitches that you have. So these stitches will be smaller, which will help compensate it to flatten it off. The next one is a single. And then this space, slam in a single. And this will have flattened it. So we need just come down here. So we're going to do a double crochet first. And then here, we want to put in a half double crochet in the next two. Single in the last one of that one, and then single right into the space. So to start again, we double crochet down to create the, the, the length. The next two are halves. Next one is a single and then also the space. So you're going to do this all the way across. 
and therefore you can have the flat thing. People will email if I don't provide this. So I figured it out for you. And so we're gonna get close to the end in just a moment. So put me on pause if you're not ready. So as you get close to the end, I just want you to put in three double crochets in a row. Because this side ends up with a big dip in the row below. Okay, so therefore you can get yourself to be flat again. You may want a blockage, but that was how you do this particular stitch. And it's a really neat idea. And it's double-sided, as he said. This here is a great stitch to know.